Hi guys, I, I have an energetic update for you on behalf of Sandra Walter. Um, so, um, so tune in. Uh, it's from last night and it's called Feeling Expanded, Weepy, Whirly, Equinox Events for Clarity and Unity. So, blessings, beloveds. I know you are feeling the subtle and not so subtle energetic shift building throughout this week. Now we prepare for a strong, unified equinox weekend. The geomagnetic event which ushered in this gateway passage from March 30th to the 20th um, last Sunday was one of the strongest yet. Flares continue. It's a powerful now. I know many are feeling hard expansion that is beyond the beyond. Some of these expansions cannot be comprehended through the body, but oh, the heart. Oh, yeah. Um, the body weeps, purges, sheds, sleeps to integrate a brand new experience. DNA gets triggered to align with revelation. It is a lot all at once. Welcome to the equinox eclipse. Welcome to the equinox equinox eclipses passage. Brand new energies are here which dismantle how we created our, re our reality, both personal and collective. Gaia revealed her purified realms and new ways of creating to many in the last week. Subtitle, opportunity for clarity and connection, presence event on Saturday. Sandra says, I am honored to host our quarterly webinar on Saturday, the last online event before the crystalline convergence in May. The realms will look and feel very different very quickly through this March, April, May sequence. This affects our bodies, minds, and hearts. Emotional fields are particularly affected in this now by the magnetic collapse. Let us utilize this divine opportunity for clarity and co-creation of highest outcomes for all. Saturday's event provides high level support for the experience of realm shifting energies included are coping with realm shifts and linear reality dissolvement, expanding the heart center for boundless compassion, aligning our fields as a conduit or bridge for guys emerging higher realms, body vehicle support, attunements for the emotional, mental, and physical levels, and immersion in the crystalline field to receive the equinox realm shifting codes, and discernment of harmonics and frequencies for more ease and grace. Join Sandra for a private two-hour immersive on the current energies mastery techniques and alignment for true unity consciousness. Now that happens on the 19th of March, this Saturday from nine to 11 PDT. Um, and, uh, and it's cost of $33 uh, American dollars that is. So um, ba, 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 Equinox Peak is during our 30, 30 minute meditate, 30 minute ses session the equinox peak is during the 30 minute session at 8 a.m. PDT. All welcome to participate below, blah, blah, blah. So, um, so there you are, there we have it. Um, now, just a quick mention, um, there's two things. And, and one of them is um, what, what Sandra, um, what she said about the magnetic collapse, the magnetic field of the earth. Um, and, and I've talked about this so many times and it always seems to come up with a Sandra Walter um, uh, energy update, because if you go over to Ben Davidson's um, Suspicious Observers channel, he's talking much about the activity that's happening on the sun right now. And, um, um, and um, so between the two of them and, and, and other research that I've done, um, we are re receiving um, more photon, photonic light. Um, so that's why then, you know, the wired 
and tired, sleepy, weepy, that sort of thing that Sandra um, refers to. It's all happening. We are just receiving more light um, that, um, that, well, let's just put it this way. Um, if it all came at once, we'd be like a bug splattered on, on a car driving really, really fast on the highway. So um, that's why we don't want it all at once. But um, the magnetic field collapsing um, uh, allows us to receive and, um, and the, <laughs> And the collapse of the magnetic field is, 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 is also due to the collapse of, um, well, the seeming collapse and chaos of, of the human collective, um, our consciousness as a collective, as, as things progress um, in such a way that, um, well, let's just say that they can't go on the way they have been going on. And um, with that, things, um, the old uh, crumbles. And, um, it, you know, so what we're seeing right now is the death of, of, of many old systems um and uh, what comes hand in hand with death is is um birth you know just like the inhale and the exhale um there is no space in between or it is all space however you want to say it and um so yes yeah, so there's there's very much going on um you'll see it in the animals um i gosh i've i've uh, been you know watching um the the canadian geese and seeing um hearing feeling their sort of dismay as the magnetic field that you know they depend on um collapses um or weakens let's say continues to weaken and um and not just that the animals around too heard um i don't know what animals they were last night um arguing it sounded like you know perhaps raccoons it was a sound that didn't i didn't recognize raccoons maybe skunks um and 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 uh, for days and days now um the cats have been in heat and the dogs have been um sort of um um like in a whimperish uh, releasing a whimperish sort of um cry um and watch them watch the animals um they tell us a lot um and um, so anyways um there's you know um all of that and then there's less human beings um and i just relate to somebody the other day how you know the weak the weakening field um and you know the receptance of more photons whether you know it or not believe it or not um physiologically does affect us so um and and one of the the areas that i remember mostly is is the heart which sandra talks about right and and that information didn't come from her it comes from ben and and those studying the the weakening magnetic field and how it affects humanity um, or, or creatures um, living beings um, on, on a physiological level so um, if, if you are apt um, or predisposed to heart issues please take it easy easier um, and, and tune into your heart um, and, and and as I've related to many people it, you know um, now is a good time if you've never done it before to start talking with your body because uh, within it are all the answers um, so um, you, you know if, if you've got imbalance anywhere um, inclusive well of, of everything you know um talk to it because within within that door um or within that imbalance is is also the key to unlock the um the way the door to to balance again so we need not wait for anything around us to change um when we have the opportunity to just tune into ourselves and um and and take that key take the key and um, and use it, unlock the door of imbalance and um, walk through. So um, should you need um, some assistance with that, I'm happy to help. And um, by all means, um, you can um, write me a message, an email, and um, and I'm happy to to assist, um, be it in person or via, via Zoom here. So um, your call, your call. I'm here to, to help, here to be of service as always. Um, and, um, and, and, and actually I'll, I'll just relate how, how I've been doing and it has been very, uh, wow, an incredibly re revelatory, um, past, uh, well, intensely since, since last, since, you know, this gateway has opened, um, and I knew it would, I knew it was coming. However, I, I, I cannot, uh, it, it's, it's been an intense, um, 
year already, hasn't it? And um, and and when you um, can tune into yourself, you know, again, the answers um, that you're seeking, um, they come to you through you. And um, when you're really quiet and, and open to to receiving and listening and hearing, um, so so pay close attention to you. Um, so yes, for me, um, very much in the last week, it has been, you know, tears of, of relief, and uh, very much relief. That's, that's the word, sort of the theme that keeps coming up is um, um, relief, relief, you know, and uh, allowing myself to just cry when, um, when, when the need arises, um, when, when the tears are coming, not to hold back for a second, regardless of who's around. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Um, so yeah, um, scary things or seemingly scary things have come up as well. Um, but um, rather than responding with with fear, um, I, I've become ever more curious um, as to what those things really are and uh, what they mean, and um, you know, speak to them. Um, uh, as I as I would, you know, a five year old child asking for my attention, um, because really that's that is what's going on. It's you asking for you, you know. So um, so yeah, what what seemed to have been scary before has now turned into curiosity, uh, further self inquiry, and um, and conversations that uh, allow for. Um, for peace and serenity and balance within and, um, and, 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 and from that inner balance, um, I only see and know and feel outer balance um, in the world where, you know, there's a war going on and, um, and um, somehow that's, um, it's part of the balance, it's part of the chaos which, which births organization. So, um, I invite you to 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 step into you, to step into yourself, and 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 just find places and moments of calm and peace and and ease and serenity and joy because um, because that's what's really most important right now. And um, whether you believe it or not, you doing that for you actually um, is of great assistance to those who who are are feeling the effects of war, who are living in it right here and right now. Um, so there we are. Um, do join into Sandra's um, presence event. I, I could never say enough how amazing she is. And, um, and, and if need be, call on me. And um, again, I'm happy to be of service as well. So um, all that uh, to say, have a wonderful day, uh, wherever you are. Um, you are so loved and blessed and so appreciated um, just for being you. Remember, you are the miracle and um, let's not wait for one. You are it and um, allow the miracle of you to radiate and emanate um, from your heart all around the heart of the world, which touches everybody. I love you. God bless you and um, be well. Bye for now. <laughs>